see all the things we move out. Time to clean up and mop before you do it. And we're gonna put some brown tomorrow. Hello guys, welcome to my club channel. Today I went to Lowe to pick up my uh, tile. I ordered a week ago, so I'm very excited. And this year, during Christmas, I'm gonna do my kitchen um, commercial tile, right? Today. I got an email from last night, so I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm very excited. So I've been ordered a week for a special commercial tile. I'm gonna pick up uh, my thin set and brown. Yeah, the tiles right here. This is a special order for commercial tile. None uh, sleeping and water resistant. Thank you. We have a truck, so we have to cut it out. We have to put one by one in the car. Then set and uh, black ground. Okay. Yeah, just pick up the tire. The tire weight, I think, more than 50 pounds per pack. So I have 10, 10 pack. I have to have a low employee to help me half and check it out. I don't know how I'm gonna drive back to the shop, but. I have to drive slow. Look how heavy the, the, the tire is. Oh my goodness. Hopefully I can drive back safe. I'm scared driving back. I have to drive really slow. I wish I have a truck so I can carry the pellet easier than load one can by one. Can you hear the sound? I have to drive really slowly. I'm kind of scared. It's gonna mess up my tire too. I wish I have a truck so I can load the whole pallet to the trucks easier. Hello guys, today I'm very excited to do the kitchen tire today because we are closing for Christmas. So we have an extra couple days to do. Very So this is all my products right here. I have my thin sets for my tile and ground. And this is the tile for the floor. So let me take it out, okay? This tire has to be a commercial tire, non-sleep and water resistant, has to be greater than uh, 0.42. So it's a commercial type, or you can use in a residential for outdoor, indoor too, okay? Today I'm gonna go over um, <clears throat> everything on the table that I'm gonna use today for to do the tiles. So I got a measuring tape. Of course I have a goggle to uh, protect my eyes while cutting the tile and you must have a, a tile saw and this one you can cut tile and metal too i got an amazon for 79 dollars really good deal and of course you're gonna have your knee pad to uh, <clears throat> do tile and this is my mixing paddle to uh, mix the thin set okay and i have a ruler too extra ruler and this shroud to make a thin set to do tile and after you're doing tire and you have a sprout to do a ground too, and sprout to weigh up the ground. And this is my um, spacer for the tire and gloves. So that's all I have. Thing I have, you have to have your label ruler, okay? Let's take the sink out. Take out all the screws here. And make sure you turn it off. What you do, I use a marker for hot water when you put it back. Black and black, that's hot water. Okay, we charge this one. So I use a marker, I mark the hot water line right here. So it'll save me time when you put it back. You know which one is the hot water line. So after you take out all the sinks, make sure you clean, sweep, and mop before you do it. All, right. all the sinks we move out. Time to clean up and mop before you do it. Put it dried up so we can lay tiles. So this is my thin set right here. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here first, and then I use the paddle. Okay. Today 
today is a rainy day, so it's kind of hard for you to cut tire outside and mix the thin set outside. So I'm gonna mix at the door. The reason why I put a, a little bit of water on the bottom, so when you pour the thin set, it won't fly away. So now you just slowly, don't pressure on hard. And then you can add a little bit of water, and then add a little bit of water into uh, peanut butter. Mix a little bit, just pour some little bit water and slowly mix it. And remember, never pour the hole back into your bucket. Just do half of the time, so easier. So I mix it a little bit more and it looks better. Look way better. To me, mixing this one just like I'm mixing the wasabi. <laughs> this one. So you just sit there for five minutes and then uh, lay your tire. You pull the thin set straight and lay your tire. When you do a circular motion, it's easy to the brake when the object falls into your tire. So make sure you pull it straight. So it's better. So this is uh, two hours of work. Look pretty good. With my brother, cutting tire, make our job as easier. I to help with my friend Ken to do a thin set and we like tire so faster. With the help with my brother, make the job easier cutting tile and my buddy can put a thin set make it job easier and we got this huh Ken? yes we do <laughs> 95% of work done in two hours Ken or one and a half Drops easier. Just put it in the ground. Yeah, it was dry though, so you gotta use this uh, sponge and a bucket of water and just wipe it up, just how I did in the corner. Okay? Today I'm very excited to show you the floor is done. I just installed the three compartment sinks and the vegetable sinks and the floor turned out really good. I have a little bit black on the ground thing but that's okay I can clean up later. So let's take a two day of works and the cost is like $250 I order uh, from low. So if you do it yourself probably save you a maybe like thousand dollar or fifteen dollar for hire somebody to do it so if you like my channel please uh, like and subscribe thank you for watching and have a wonderful day